IPCC Bureau members, ladies and gentlemen, I am Yuba Sokona, one of the co-chair of the Working Group of Three. It gives me a great pleasure and a privilege in the name of my colleagues, co-chairs of the IPCC Working Group 3, as well as the TSU team and the CLAs of the Special Report of, on Renewable Energy Sources and Climate Mitigation, to warmly welcome you to the 11th session of the Working Group 3 in this extraordinary location in Abu Dhabi. The IPCC decided to write this uh, new report of renewable energies because we intend to explore the contribution of renewables to mitigate uh, climate change. It is the first report of IPCC after uh, the fourth assessment report and this special report will contribute substantially to the coming fifth assessment report. The fifth assessment report will be published in 2014. Uh, and the mandate of the IPCC is to explore all the relevant options uh, for greenhouse gas uh, uh, emission reductions and uh, indeed renewables are an important part of uh, that portfolio. This report seeks to achieve to provide policy relevant information to the decision makers, to the policy makers without being policy prescriptive. So the IPCC has not the mandate to recommend specific renewable energy policies However, the IPCC has the mandate to inform the policymakers uh, about the options they have technologically, politically, uh, and uh, also socially. In writing of this report, around 120 experts have been involved. Uh, also, the co chairs of IPCC have been involved, and also the technical support unit 10 people who assist uh, the experts uh, to provide that report. Now, the report tells us, first of all, that uh, some of the renewable energy technologies are already competitive on the market, without, even without climate policy. If an ambitious climate policy would be implemented in the near future, so the renewable energies become incredibly important, incredibly competitive, so we expect decreasing costs for renewable energies. However, so we have to take into account renewable energies are not the only option and not the only mean to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. There are more than one option. It's part of a whole portfolio of mitigation options. We have explored the contribution of the renewables in this uh, uh, portfolio of mitigation options. And the report tells us without dedicated national energy policies, we will not see an increasing deployment of renewables. So to summarize, Renewable energy policies have a huge potential in the future, but without dedicated policies, we will not see a rapid deployment of renewables.